Hello everybody, my name is Miguel Hernandez. I am the founder of Grumo Media and today we have Maricha Lanas from Agent Piggy. Uh, Agent Piggy is a company that's doing something really awesome for education, for education for kids. And it's, uh, they're basically te te teaching them financial uh, education. So when they grow up, they don't make the same mistakes our parents do, which is they take money and they borrow too much money and they end up in, in complete financial disaster. Uh, I mean, she can explain it a lot better, but anyways, I want to introduce you to her. She is in Chile, right? Yeah. She's in yes. Chile and we did a video for her a couple, I don't know, a couple of years ago. Yes. <laughs> so anyways, uh, the video is on the web so you can check it out and it obviously explains uh, very well what they do. So, but in your own words, um, Maricha, what's uh, Agent Piggy doing? Okay, first of all, thank you, Miguel, for the interview. Yeah. Um, uh, Agent Piggy is a, uh, is a tool that helps children to be financially responsible with their money. And uh, we create several tools in, in web and also in mobile so they can, um, we, we can help parents to explain their children to be conscious about their uh, financial habits, how to spend, how to donate, how to save their money to reach their goals in the future. And of course, not to be uh, in debt when they are uh, yeah, exactly. adults. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so they, it's... Um, it's 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 a it's a tool that in a sense kind of like um, makes understanding this concept that for all for for in general they're pretty dry and people are like I don't care about it but it makes it interesting for kids so they're makes it almost like a game right so they're while yes. they're playing at the same time they're learning yeah. really valuable financial lessons for them that's really, that's yeah. really cool yeah and, um, so. Uh, how did you come up with this idea? I mean, uh, what made you think the world needed Agent Piggy? Okay, we came up with this idea with my uh, business partner, which is also my husband, in 2010, with the world financial crisis. Ah. And that, that happens, you know, all the people were in debt, all the people were screwed up with their, with their balances. And because why? They, they um, buy houses that were very uh, ex expensive, and cars that were very luxury and they could not afford it. So uh, when they were um, in this crisis, we find out that we how we can help these people or our friends to make um, their lives easier to explain to their kids what was going on, why yeah. they were spending their um, savings now uh, to pay all their debts, and that's that's how we create Agent P. And uh, but. The, the only way to try to expand this um, concept was with a web tool. So we create this online piggy bank. We create, uh, now we have a, a, a program in schools. We are actually in like 31 schools that we create um, this program in 2000, last year. Yeah. Last year, we proved the concept and there's a lot of kids that are, uh, learning with Agent Piggy and that, and more than five thousand kids that graduate for our program too. So, also, oh, so they you actually have uh, the they they have the software, they have the platform Agent Piggy, and then when there's there's a program where they actually graduate, they, they get some kind of like a certificate or something that they've gone yeah. through the process. Yes, of course. That's what really we do is we deliver a program to the school. Yeah. Uh, uh, online platform. So uh, they start with the program with 10 lessons. So they learn concepts of savings, of uh, spending, have to be responsible with their expenses or to reach their goals, uh, financial yeah. goals with short, short, midterm and, and long term goals. And uh, um, everything is with a dynamic where the kids, as soon as they uh, pass the lesson, they um, they had to pass also a challenge a challenge that if they, they if they win that challenge they will they will win money and with that money they can play in the platform yes. to spend in the platform in a market in a virtual market that we have to donate virtual donations to foundations so they start to uh, make a lot of actions that in the future they can make they actually yes. they in agent, in agent P, they start to practice the actions that in the real life they will do 
uh, with their money. So we are trying yeah. to create habits in the kids now. Like, for example, if, if you have a kid, you tell him, like, you have to brush your teeth every day. That That's what we are doing now. It's like you have to save money every day. You have to uh, fight for your goal every day. You have to, you know, every day yeah. we are trying to make, you know, this... Yeah, that's that's fantastic, and at, at an early age is when creating those habits really is important, right? Because once you start creating the wrong habits, it's really hard to change them. But if you're yeah. young and you get the right habits, then you're like it's second nature. Of course, I'm going to save money because <laughs> it's it, this is how I can have a future free of debt or be able to afford or understanding what kind of uh, assets you can afford. You know, maybe I shouldn't get the huge home because. I look at my finances and this is what I can really afford, right? And not make yes, the same mistakes course. everybody's making, unfortunately. Yeah. And also and also kids are like all the time said to your parents, you know, daddy, buy buy this to me and they say, you know, I don't have the money. Okay, but use your credit card. Yeah, but I have to pay it at the end of the month. Okay, so use a check. Oh well, it's the same. Oh, so let's go to the ATM and take out some, some money. And it's like, no, everything is the same. And they, you know, they are only like asking, asking, like, buy me this, buy me that. And they, you know, are very angry with their parents because they want and, and, and their yes. parents didn't know how to explain them. Yeah. And that's agent P what, what they do, what we do is to, okay, if you want to buy a bicycle, okay, just fight for it. Okay. How are you going to do that? Okay. So you can, um, accomplish these chores for example wash daddy's cars on saturdays for five dollars and if you multiply five dollars for i don't know five times per week you're going to have 20 yes. so if you multiply that for one year maybe you're going to have you know two thousand dollars and then you are going to to buy yes. your bike and yes. to they achieve understand your what it takes and, in order to save money to get what they want they understand yeah. the value of money exactly. uh, as opposed to like money just come from the sky and, or from a plastic yeah, or the trees yes. yeah the trees <laughs> money comes from the trees the money grows <laughs> in the tree. right yes. i think this is awesome so it's you know great and i'm so happy that we got the chance to you know tell the world through a little animation what agent pig is yeah it's amazing so um, next question here um okay. so you can uh, you came up with this idea uh, now, a lot of entrepreneurs come up with an idea, and this series is to give some advice, hopefully, to some people that are trying to create companies in the future. It's like, okay, everybody coming up with the idea is so simple, and you think, oh, it's going to be awesome. Uh, but the next step is very important, which is how do you validate that people are actually going to use this? So in, in the case of Agent Pickett, did you do some kind of validation before you spend a lot of time and effort uh, building the platform? Um. Well, the first time, the first, every, I think every good idea has like a, a validation of the audience. Yes. I think yeah. that the difficult, the most difficult thing is to uh, make your product, product fit in the market because you can have, you know, for example, Nigel P Piggy, you, uh, in the, in this problem that try to, to help parents to teach their children to be financially responsible, you can have a lot of ideas. But how to execute that that idea? It's very hard. So how we validate our idea? At first, uh, we it's very like basic. We <laughs> create a, a Facebook fan page yes. with a concept, yes. and we pitch the world what we were going to do before we spent money yeah. in in creating an, an MVP and and also try to find a way how to. Uh, what were the the market needs? Yeah. What were the parents uh, in in this case to try to define first the client and yeah. who was going to be the user yeah. and yeah. and and see and with these ideas where the people were asking uh, try to build the product uh, not spending a lot of money only an MVP and prove the concept if it was a good idea or not. So that's how we, we, we begin. So you created the Facebook page and then yeah. on the Facebook page, what did you do? You just explain what you were planning to do yes. and how yes. did you collect the feedback? Just with comments or likes or how? Well, you... on, only comments and likes, likes with, uh, of the people. We start, you know, to spread the word with our friends at first. Yeah. Then, uh, in blogs also, uh, try to find interviews in, in, <laughs> Yeah. in social media and and then to try to see how the people react to this crazy idea that we were trying to build. 
Yeah. So this is Pablo. <laughs> <laughs> Pablo. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, here is his, his home office too. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize that Pablo was there. Oh, sorry. I was... <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, great. Okay, so that's how you validated your idea. So the next thing is... Mm, um, why did you become an entrepreneur as opposed to somebody that works for a big corporation 9 to 5? Yeah, I was I was the the example of that person. <laughs> I was working in a in a huge company when I I'm from Ecuador. Yes. And uh, and I was I worked my 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 career was in Ecuador. I worked like 10 years as an employee in lots of enterprises and big enterprises. But I always want to have time for myself because when you work in an enterprise, they are owner of your time. They they tell you when you can go for lunch when you can go for vacation, how many days. And it was for me very frustrating because I want to do more. So uh, I always do side jobs, uh, and, but I was not very encouraged to, to give up my, you know, my comfort zone yes. to become an entrepreneur. But when I decide to, to, you know, to make the next, next step, like for example, now be, being a mom and, and, and have time, I I decide okay now I'm you know I'm a professional I can do uh, whatever I want so I'm going to jump the bridge and yes. become an entrepreneur so I decided you know because I wanted to have my time and now that I'm became a mom yes. become a mom uh, for me it's priceless to spend time with my kid to work uh, in my home office yes. and and spend also with my business partner that is my husband. Yes. He he also works at home sometimes. Yes. Uh, he can stay here, for example, today, mm -hmm. and sometimes he went to the office and worked with the people. So for us, it's like priceless to yeah. To no, I I can I can see that parent. especially once once you become a parent, having a, a time with your kids is invaluable, and if you are tied to and a schedule that doesn't allow you to spend enough time with your kids, it really takes away from from precious time that that you need for to spend with yes. your family, right? Uh, it's also interesting that you mentioned that your husband is your co-founder because in the last two interviews, one of the major topics we were talking was the importance and the difficulty of finding <laughs> a great co-founder. And one of yeah. the interviewees said, be, having a co-founder is like having... A, a husband, a husband, but yeah, you don't have sex. You, you don't get to have sex <laughs> with them. And in your case, you have yeah, all we the have best sex. worlds. <laughs> so that is, you're, yeah, that that really proves the point. I mean, you're you're yeah. extremely lucky that you were able to create a company a successful one with your co-founder. So there you yeah. go. It proves the point. Uh, not everybody is as lucky, obviously, but uh, it can happen. It can happen. Yeah, it's great because we are a team. We are a team. A yeah. perfect team as dads, as as you know, as partners, as husband and wife, and it's incredible. You know, and, like, and you have complementary skills too, right? I imagine. Yes. Which yes, is Pablo. Is an, yeah, Pablo is an economist, and he's also the techie of the team. Yes. And I'm more uh, in the business area, like in the marketing side. So yes. we are we match. And and when I mean, like every co-founder, you'll have your disagreements. How do you make sure that they don't affect the relationship outside from the, from the business? He's the CEO. Yeah. Office and the CEO at home. <laughs> <laughs> so you define the. No, he yeah. thinks he's the CEO of Agent P, but the thing is that I always make the final decisions. Okay, and uh, <laughs> no, no, I'm just <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, what what really what we really do is that we respect our areas. Yes. He's in the financial area he's in the uh, techie area i'm in the marketing area and the like the the part of the business development so yeah. uh, we respect our areas if i had to, to make decisions in my area he has to trust in me yes. if he has to make financial decisions of you know money in the company i will trust in him and if, if there's a doubt or we have to make a very great decision a big a big decision we you know have a talk and say okay what's going okay. what is going go to be more uh good for the company you know so that's okay. how we yeah, yeah we have you, it's all yeah it's it's like if you have a business partner you have to respect it's the same 
The yeah. principles are the same. Of course, when you have a, a, a husband that is involved sometimes, um, because there's a lot of conf, uh, confidence, like yes. a lot of, yeah. Oh, um, yeah, like you're, you know each other really well. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes it's like you think that um, he's going to do the things that he will, I don't know how to explain that. It's kind of weird. Uh, may, it's not like disrespect, but sometimes you you would be like um, more. Uh, I don't know how to say in in, in English. What, Maybe what do you I, say in Spanish. In Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> it is muy, I, I don't know how to say if, in the Spanish of Spain, but it's mandona. Ah, mandona, like bossy. Bossy, yes. Bossy, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. see. Yeah, or at, in, in the opposite, no, you know? Okay, all right. Well, I'm really happy that you found some, some good balance where you can make it work. <laughs> yeah. You know, I don't know if I could start a business with my wife. Actually, I kind of hired her for groom as the accountant, then I fired her like two months in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this is not going to work. Really? Yeah, I don't want this to affect our relationship. So, you she know, was bossy I, with me? No, she was not bossy. It was just like, maybe I was very demanding. And I feel bad being, yeah, I feel being bad being bossy to my own wife, right? Because it's not in my personality, but as a, as a founder, as, a, as an entrepreneur, I'm I'm very demanding, right? And uh, yeah. and if I see somebody's not performing, you it's need easy to be... for me if I don't have an emotional attachment to them, right? But when yeah. it's, it's somebody I really care or love, uh, then it's like, it's hard for me to be rough because I don't want to make her sad or angry, yeah. right? And so it, it's tricky, you know? It, it is it is a difficult... So anyways, yeah. now we are in all d different worlds and that's fantastic. I'm at work right now and I'm at home and in making interviews. So it works. All right. And she's working. She, she is working. She's working. So uh, it's, I think so. <laughs> that's me every day she goes to work. Uh, no, she's working at uh, A&W he uh, headquarters here in, in, in Canada. So oh, nice. um, another question. Ah, uh, okay. So now you, so you validated the idea. You came up with the idea. You validated the idea. Uh, you told us why you became an entrepreneur and told us about having a great co-founder. Uh, now, every idea in order to execute it, you need money to make it happen. Yeah. So how did you fund your, uh, your, your startup? Okay. We didn't, when we start with the idea, we didn't, we didn't have the money. We only have, we only have our credit cards and our personal savings. Okay. So, uh, we find this great opportunity that was Startup Chile, which is the uh, government program that which uh, that brings entrepreneurs from all over around the world to develop their ideas here in Chile. Yes, um, we're Agent P is based in Chile. That's why. Yes. So um, this this fund in in Chile gives entre entrepreneurs forty uh, k, okay, yes, to invest in their idea. So. We applied to this program and we we uh, win this this uh, program and, and we got accepted, yeah. moved to Chile. Yeah, we got yes. accepted and we moved to Chile. And it was very hard for us because we live our lives in our countries and we move from with zero, like with the idea here to Chile, without money, only with our personal savings, savings and credit cards. Yes. And the and the, mo the money that gives you the government of Chile is only for the investment in your idea. It's not for your personal yeah. uh, life, you know. Yes. So it was very hard for us to to uh, start with Agent P here without money, with only, of course, with the investment of the government, yes. but to move, you know, to a... Uh, to another country, to find an apartment, to to eat, yeah. you know, to to move around it's and to invest huge. everything there. Yeah, it was very very hard for us. It, it was uh, also very strong in the emotional part because we were living in our families. Yes, but uh, at the end of the day, it was a very great opportunity because having you know that money for free, you know, yes. it was like from the sky, you know, yeah. <laughs> and, and it and thank you of of startup Chile that we can build our startup and now we are growing and having clients and so this is the only funding that you took after that is all self uh, funded 
or after that? Uh, at first, we 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 get funds from Startup Chile, then of course of our personal yes. uh, savings, yes. and then we applied to a lot of other programs. For example, example Waira, which is uh, the incubator of Movistar. Oh yeah, I've heard. Yes. from from Spain. So Waira also give you also have to apply with your idea, and if you get a, get accepted to this incubator, they fund you with fifty k. Yes. So we applied to Waira, we got accepted, and then we have uh, another investment of a private investment. Yes. And also a Spanish fund. <laughs> mm, nice. And yeah. <laughs> and and that's how we 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 start with with this with oh, everything. Well, that's I mean, it's pretty amazing your story because it really shows the believe on the idea that you're willing to yeah. leave uh, your own country and move from and start from zero in a different place and this is something that entrepreneurs should know is coming up with an idea is very easy but to actually make it happen sometimes you have to make extreme commitments yeah. and you don't know if this is going to go anywhere yeah it's like yeah. it could be a complete disaster which unfortunately happens in most of all cases like seven out of ten uh, startups never go anywhere uh yeah. so you really have to believe on what you're doing so yeah you know, of course. congratulations <laughs> I yeah, mean, and also have the vision, the vision of yes. where where you want to be, yes. where you want to be, and 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 to be strong and to be persevering, you know, persevering. You have to have also confidence, and I think it helps. Um, I, if if you have some kind of entrepreneurial experience before too, or if if, if, if I mean, if you just came out of school and you think you're going to change the world. It may happen, but it's very unlikely. I think people that already have some experience in, in working or understanding an industry or building their yeah. own companies, they have a better chance, right? So yeah, um, yeah, it's like in a school, like working as an employee in big, big corporate corporations. For me, is like a school. Yeah, because you learn you learn how to treat clients. You need how to. Of course, you're not managing your own budget. You're managing the budget of the company. But it also makes you, you know, to be disciplined with everything and and to also achieve the goals. I think it's a good a good school to be an employee. All first. Right. <laughs> uh okay, so now we're gonna do a couple of things. We're gonna share a couple of things from Jimbo Pass. One good thing that happened on one sorry, first we'll start with a with a difficult moment really difficult moment where you thought everything was going to like not going to work and then a really yeah. good moment you're like this was a great milestone on our company so let's start with with a very difficult moment okay uh, the the very difficult moment was when we have to fire everyone you're kidding <laughs> yeah it was very hard for us because we realized yeah at first we create this uh web platform for families yes which was like a b2c you know our strategy was b2c so uh, all the the platforms, the online platforms, are for free. Yes. So we, we had like the problem to how to monetize this platform without uh, putting ads because yes. we don't want to contaminate kids with a lot of you know nasty ads yeah, and you know yeah. buy this and buy that. No, it's not like in our philosophy. Yes. So when we create the program for school, that's that was the way to monetize our our platform. Uh, we realized that we were we we were working uh, ten uh, nine months in the year, yes. taking people twelve months in the year. Yes. So there were like three or four months that people were you know like this, like Not they were doing doing, yes, and we were man maintaining a structure yes. uh, of people. And for four months, you know, that, that was not working for us. Okay. So that's, that's why we decided to pivot, you know, with, with, the, with the company, with the strategy of, of the company. Yes. And we decided to uh, fire all, all the people. <laughs> And to so you were hire. not so, sorry. So you were not firing them because they were not performing, or they were bad, or or no, they didn't they fit different. the culture. It was more because you changed your model, and then yes. these people didn't fit the new model. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So it was very hard because we have an amazing team. Yes. We have a very good designer. We have a really good uh, communications uh, director. We have a really good commercial director. Yes. It was a really, really good team. But we have to change the, stra the strategy because there was, as I told you, four months that they were, you know, on vacation yes. and we were paying their salaries. Yes. So uh, we said, okay, we have to, to change this. We do, we do not need 
like a full time designer because we are not designing all the time. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. we don't need a full time communications uh, um, Person, director. Yes. Yeah, because we are not creating content all the, all time. the time. So, yeah. so we 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 see that we were we became a bit to a bit to be because yes. we work with school so we we closed a deal with school that were 1000 kids so yeah. it was better for us you know to reach one school with 1000 kids that to knock the door for a parent and buy you know the the program for one kid so so we we start to create these products for school that is yeah. there are kind of projects so yes. you work in a project with a team yes. you sell it and you continue it's like in groomer oh yeah okay so you you hire people Per project, you contract yes. them. So, out of all the people you have to fire as full time employees, did you were you able to use them later on? Or yes, you know, yeah. Okay. I, of course, we are working with the people that can afford that kind of yeah. uh, of timing. Yes, because yes. some people, for example, our designer needs a full time job because she has all the expenses or you know personal expenses, and she and she needs a full time job. So it was very hard for us because. When you work in a in a startup, as you said, you mentioned the culture of the team. Yes. In our case, it was very very close. Yes, we were like a family. Yes, we were we were very like open minded. Okay, if you want to go, we never work with a schedule. Like you know, you have to came come at nine and go at five. No. Yes. If, if you want to come at eleven or at midday, okay, you can come, but you have to accomplish this until this date. Yes. We always work like this, so you, you know. Have with a lot product. of freedom. To yeah, freedom. Work. Yeah. Yes, trust. A lot of bonding with the people. We create a lot of bonding with them. Yeah. So to to fire them, it was breaking up the family. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was breaking up the family, breaking yeah. like to 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 end your relationship with your boyfriend like that. Yeah, so, yeah. You 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 spend so many hours working with these people. Yeah. You know about their lives and everything yeah. and now you have to let them go. It's, it's extremely yeah. hard. So Yeah, it breaks our heart. I have we, a question. So you build and, you build this culture and this family when Agent PK started and then you have to break it. Now is there you do you still have that culture or do you do, what do you do in order to not lose some of that magic or is something that is not possible once you work on this new model of contracting people I think that uh, when you work with part timers yes. because you you need part timers yes I think you can build also a a, a bonding a, a culture of you know yes. as we have it before uh, I think it depends of the quality of the people that you hire. Yes. And and also uh, depends on 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 how how you wanna make this like your work to be. It's about because being a part timer or, or an entrepreneur is a is a, a style of life, a yes. lifestyle. Yeah. So I think that if you share those things like a lifestyle, you know, and and to be and also. I think that that the people that has to work with us has to love the project. Okay, all right. Very you know, good. if they do not believe in what we are, we are doing, if they do not love what we are doing, they are not going to be able to work with us yes. because we we work with kids. Yes. So if you if you want to work with kids, you have to project them that you believe in what you are selling yes. and you what what you are bringing to them. So that's like the the first thing. Okay. Yeah. That. But it, yeah. But it was very hard. Yeah. Well. And at that point, yeah. yeah, I was pregnant. I oh. was pregnant. Yeah, I was nine months pregnant, and we had to fire all of them. Oh my and, goodness! Oh, so it was like very, very hard. Well. Yeah. yeah. It, I mean, it, that's another lesson for entrepreneurs. Sometimes you have to make very hard decisions. One of the things that I've heard many times is. Uh, hire slowly, fire fast, and that's so very <laughs> so easy to say. Uh, because sometimes when you're growing, you're like, I got to hire. And then you don't put a yeah. lot of attention into hiring people. And that has happened in Grumo. We're a very small company, yeah. but last year we were growing really fast. And then I start hiring here and there. And then I'm like, realize I never really check if they're in, in tune with the culture, if they really believe in what we're doing. And then you're like, you know, this is not going to work. This, this, if this was a soccer team, I'm not hiring the right person <laughs> to be the forward. This yeah. guy's never going to score a goal because he's not 
is not doesn't understand the philosophy of this team, right? Yeah. And that's what I learned making mistake. And then getting rid of people that you've already even have an emotional attachment, but maybe they don't they don't technically or their experience they don't fit is is very difficult. But as an entrepreneur, yeah. you have to be ready to be stern and say, yeah, you have to go because yeah, that doesn't work. That's that's what we learned because we were thinking in this pivot since October of the no, since September of last year yeah. and we were you know f we were like you know delaying things yeah. until we said okay we have to save the family we have to save the family yeah. and we you know we delayed these like five months and it was yeah it, it was, probably would have been better if you do it just quick a lot like, of months let's do it yeah. and, and live with it hmm. All right, so now yeah. let's get into the positive <laughs> side of the world. Uh, so what was the moment in Agent Piggy that you remembered fondly as, you know, we're making it or, you know, this is awesome, this is great, this is helping us accomplish our mission? Okay, uh, I think that the best moment or the one of the best moments that we have was when we, uh, when we create this school program and the first kids graduate for this program and it was like a kind of ceremony yes. with with all these kids and they were they start you know to to express what they were learning in this program uh, what do they you know the their opinions on that yes. and for us it was like you know seeing kids from 80 year olds or 9 year old that say that you know with age and PE I learned how to be how to save or how to accomplish this or that or yeah. the um, opportunity cost. And I was like, oh, my God, we, we did it. You actually we made, made a it. difference in, in this yeah. yeah. And they, they changed their vocabulary. Yeah. They were saying the words. Investment, the saving, interest. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And I was like, oh, my God, I was almost crying. And, and yeah. also they were very excited because in, they were asking all the teachers, you know, uh, because they lose, for example, their passwords to get in. Also, the, the parents uh, write us emails and, and say, okay, congratulations, and how can I uh, stay with the program because, you know, they graduate from the school, so I, how can I um, yes. uh, uh, make my kid to be, you know, more responsible or how, how, how it's going to work from this? Yes. And for us in that moment was like, oh my God, we're just creating value for these kids. We bring something to help the society. Yeah. And 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 we are and it's for for me it was like, do you remember a teacher? Do you remember a teacher that changed you in in some time of your life? Yeah, that make a you big always, difference. Yeah, you you always have like this teacher or you always have something in the school that you learned that you will you will never, never ever going to forget. Yeah. So that 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 is what we are trying to do right now, mm -hmm. and I think that Agent Pig is doing that. And yeah, I and hope, yeah. So, so I see how so, seeing that validated, like okay, there is proof that all our efforts building this platform are actually doing and making a difference because you could see yeah. these kids, you know, saying, "Yeah, we love it. We're learning all these concepts. I want my password back because I want to get in there somehow and learn more." Yeah. That's and also awesome. Be conscious. Yeah, yeah. That that I think that was like the. Mo one of the most beautiful moments that was uh, like two years ago that was like wow we we got it like well congratulations for yeah. it <laughs> and I hope you can make many more kids yeah, a big difference yeah. in their lives because <laughs> it, it is a big important thing <laughs> yes <laughs> <Your standard finances. laughs> yeah um, all right so one question is I'm working towards the end of the interview here is uh, if you have one piece of advice after, you know, all your experience as an entrepreneur for a new entrepreneur, what would it be? Uh, I think that the best advice I can give it to, to people, to the entrepreneurs is to knock doors, knock doors. Yes. And to, uh, because sometimes when you, sometimes you are, uh, you're not so uh, challenged to knock doors because you're afraid. Yes. And I think that, or maybe you're afraid because the people is going to say no. Mm -hmm. But what I think is that when they say no, is is no today. But maybe it's they are going to say yes tomorrow. Um. So, 
Yeah, because it it is is the same. It's like okay, I'm not hungry today, but tomorrow maybe I'm going to want to eat that thing. You know. Yes. So it's to be persevering. That's the only way that you can achieve the things. Uh, all in Latin America is that way. When you knock a door, they're going to say no all the time. If you go a month uh, a, a month later, they're going to say no. Yeah. Then the third time, no. But then at some point they're going to say yes. Yeah, because maybe at that time things. The thing about uh, people and everything is it changes. So it the changes. reason why they say no before may not be there anymore or you as a person has grown or, or what your value proposition has changed and then they say okay yeah. now I am interested on it and because maybe they heard about you before they're like oh of course you know I remember you uh, yeah sure why not so good yeah it, yeah it's like you have to be dating your clients for a long time until they marry you <laughs> <laughs> well yeah. the importance yeah. of networking as soon as yeah. you can and building relationships yeah that's all it. right good stuff Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, I have some other questions here. Uh, let me just pick one of them. So do okay. you have an, an entrepreneurial role model? Some a woman or a man, you're like, I look up to this person. I, you know, I was very inspired by this person. Um, I was thinking about that, but no, I don't have like a, like someone that I is like, oh, I want to be like that. Yeah, like, I, 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 yeah. I have like, um, personal admiration for everyone like for example from you that you are like like a genius in, in <laughs> no really really I, I don't have like role models I, I yeah. try to 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 pick all those uh, um, attributes of people okay like, that's, for, a good, that's when interesting I, yeah yeah when I meet someone I, I was telling you like you like you're very spontaneous like yeah. you have this magical thing to to Create, yes. How to say it? plasmar conceptos? Okay, yeah, to uh, plasmar conceptos. <laughs> <laughs> my, you know, my Spanish, my, uh, uh, that would be more like uh, how to synthesize concepts, like maybe complex ideas into yes, into yes. into uh, into in, in a way that anybody can understand. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. For example, I, I I admire you from from that because yeah. you change this these very complex con con concepts in you know very easy ways to to show the people to understand it so i i i admire these kind of attributes from from people it's not like like i have a role model to oh, okay to, uh, that's i i really like that because yeah. yeah if if you pick you're like okay i'm impressed about this okay that's interesting uh maybe there's something i can learn i yes you know to me, I'm, for example, my role model is somebody like Elon Musk, somebody that has created three world changing companies, right? And he's still relatively young, uh, is really smart, extremely hardworking, but he's working towards things that actually change the world. In, in a sense, well, Agent P, what he's doing, also is doing something <laughs> really good for the world, right? Uh, but he's been able to do it three times. And I'm like, yeah. I always wonder what are some of the attributes or habits this person has developed? to become ex so extremely successful and productive in their lives. And I'm like, to me, that's very interesting. So that's a role model. But what I, I like, what I like about you is that instead of just focusing on one individual and feeling like he's some kind of God, it's more like yeah. everybody has something to offer. Maybe in, yeah. even a kid, you can learn from some, from something yeah, from, from it. Yeah, right. it's like to be, for me, it's like to learn um, these things, as you said, from everyone and to, to improve yourself. Because we're not perfect, <laughs> and what we want to do is to be better, you know. And how you can do that? Learning from other people. That's true. All right. <laughs> so I think okay. One more thing: uh, is there something that you do? Because as an entrepreneur, I mean, life in general, time is such an important thing, right? We never have enough of, of it, and we want to do yes. all this stuff. So then, as an entrepreneur, being able to prioritize your time is oh. fundamental uh is there some productivity hack or or something that you do in order to make sure that you spend doing your time doing the most important thing uh yeah i never procrastinate ah 
Yeah. <laughs> That's easier said than done. <laughs> yeah. So how, yes, did you, how did you develop very, like, that? Was that something stubborn. natural or is something that you consciously said, I'm, I need to be able to... No, it's, it's something of my personality. It's, oh. I'm very uh, stubborn. Okay. Because, yeah, in, in, in the way that if I say that I will do something, I will do it no matter what. If it's a uh, traffic... It takes me like five hours to go to that place that I I said I was going to go. Yes. I will go it. Wow. I will I will not change the or reschedule the meeting. I will have to get into the traffic and go. But oh. because I'm very stubborn. Oh, I and, I, I really appreciate that <laughs> yeah. because you said you were going to do this interview, and I know that you had a little bit of an emotional time because your parents left, and you still said I'm going to do it. So I really appreciate that. That's, uh, and, and as an entrepreneur, that probably is one of the top things that you yeah. need to do is like, you know, do what you're going to, you said you're going to do and yeah. don't postpone it. So it's very, very important. Um, and then, uh, I think it's pretty much it. At the end of the interview, I like to ask things related to like Rumo Media, uh, but I don't want to be like self-serving. <laughs> so I, I never know if I should include this or not. Uh, but I'm very curious to know personally, since I mean, uh, we did the video for you is how did you find Rumo originally? If you remember? Yeah, I was, I was, uh, I was, you know, Googling like the most amazing videos, like, ah, okay. So, for uh, okay. Yeah. I Google it. No, yeah. no one recommend me Google it, and then I find your site. Yeah, and they and I find all the videos that you were you you were um they you were no, produced, yes yeah produced, and I love it. Um, and then I contact you, and I say, you know, I'm a poor girl. I don't have the money. <laughs> please help me. I'm an entrepreneur. I want your video, please. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and I had to you know talk to you, and at first you say no, yeah. and then. I contact you again, and I. There you go. So it proves, it proves your point. <laughs> Being persistent works. You yeah, know, we, and then we, you said, "Okay, yes, let, let let's see how how we can work, you know, these out." Yeah, um, no, I, I'm very I, grateful for that. <laughs> it's you know every like I say, as in, in Grumo, we get so many startups like trying to get deals and stuff, and I'm like, it, it, if the only reason why I'll, I'll, I'll agree to not you know, to lower our prices, something like that, is I have to believe on the idea and I have to really like the entrepreneur. And also we have to be able to afford it because every year I try to do one or two videos where we're like probably not making any money, but it's okay because those two things fit. You know, it's a great yes. idea and it's a great entrepreneur. So in your case, it was both. Uh, so yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm happy to see that, you know, Agent Big is doing so well and and Thank you. hopefully the video helped a little bit to make that happen. Yeah, of course. They love it. They love it. They love the video. It's like our uh, business card. They love it. Thank you so much. All right. Well, do you know, uh, Maricha, that's everything I have to ask you. You know, I don't want this interview to take forever, but it was extremely awesome to catch up with you and hear a little bit of a story and advice. And I wish you much success because your success is going to mean... A lot of people not suffering with their finances in the future. So <laughs> my own kids, when I have them, you know, probably they need some of those lessons. So thanks a lot. Thank you. I uh, thank you for, for uh, this interview. And well, visit agentp.com. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we make the boring fun, the dull colorful, the complex simple. Scary, friendly. Life is too short for long words. So we remove the fluff, get to the point, and share what makes you special. Rumo, awesome demo video.